Good Monday morning. Hope everybody uh, <clears throat> ended up having a good weekend. Uh, I know locally it wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, definitely know some people uh, over in East Georgia, up in the Asheville area. Yes, still rough. No power, no water. Um, and probably going to be several more, several more, for several more days before they get that uh, back up and running, especially uh, up in the Asheville area. Uh, <clears throat> who knows? Um, a couple of good friends up there. They basically finally were able to get out of Asheville and, and go to uh, friends and family, going to spend some time with them because it may be um, a good while before they're backing up and running. So, yeah, <clears throat> like I said we kind of got lucky here. Lost power, no big, uh, major things I know of and more of in the immediate area. Um, but uh, thoughts and prayers going out to all those still um, out there struggling. So, um, yeah, we ended up not going to Huracan because of, of the hurricane. <clears throat> It was fine in Orlando, but uh, yeah, after seeing everything and hearing about everything, kind of glad we didn't try to drive down there Thursday. Probably at some point would have been right in the middle of the mix. So, yeah, it was a good decision. Ended up having a, a good weekend here. Busy um, all weekend. Um, we did have. Uh, Battletech tournament and an MCP tournament. So shout out to all those guys that came out for those. <clears throat> it's good to see um, other games being played. And it, it's, it's not a slam on game, Games Workshop at all. It's just uh, really um, good to see the other games getting some attention. Um, both good games games um, that I might not normally play in events like that to come out and have some fun uh, on more of the competitive side. We will be doing that again. In fact, Stephen has already given me a date again for the next MCP tournament. Oh, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> we'll get it posted. We do have a Discord going up, up and running. Uh, give us feedback. Will's um, helping me out with that. If you do have any suggestions, let us know. If you see any glitches, any issues. <coughs> um, I think uh, for this startup, it looks good. Looks like we're doing well. I've got been painting. I'm moving my paints out of the way here. Um, so that's good stuff. Um yeah, back to busy weekend. It's good to see. Um, wow, the the number of different games being played is is awesome. Um, yesterday, Sunday, we're usually busy on Sunday, but <clears throat> not like we were. It was it was cool. We had uh, what the hell did we have? Spearhead Magic. We had two role playing groups. We had some five parsecs going on. We had some. 40k, we had the MCP tournament, we had Shatterpoint, we had uh, more Spearhead. So, yeah, that was just what I can kind of take a snapshot of. But, um, it was good. Um, what else good? Oh, Georgia lost. Uh, actually, I have to give uh, credit for Georgia for fighting back and making it a great game. Uh, it was very entertaining. Uh, hate to say I did call it. Uh, me and several of us watching the game at the uh, end of the game. <clears throat> and Mark can vouch for this. The turner said, Alabama's going to intercept. That's going to be how the game ends. And they did. Um, but yeah, I will say I'll give kudos to Georgia for fighting back. I think a lot of people have, including Georgia fans, didn't think there had much of a chance, so. But uh, yeah, good run for Georgia. Shout out to them. Not really. Uh, 
it's about time they lost. For those who don't know, I, I went to Georgia Tech, so um, I always root for Georgia Tech and whoever's playing Georgia. So <clears throat> anyway, and then it's probably the only time I ever root for Alabama, uh, but I, I had to see what else is going on. Um, um, I had a couple of thoughts uh, walking this morning. Of course, they're long gone. I I, I did. I guess um, kind of the thing with the M- MCP and the BattleTech, the other games being played in the store. Um, it's interesting. Uh, you know, BattleTech's been around for a long time. Actually, had a lot of influence on other games, and I, I was kind of thinking a little bit about about that. What other old school games are still being played, and you know, with that having big uh, influence impact on uh, current games. One, um, let me see it. Ooh, painted that one. And this one, I need to do a little finish up. Uh, Car Wars. That's an old classic. We're going to try to get a couple games in. Maybe get a little league going or something. That's an old classic. Um, What's some others? I mean, you have to throw magic in there because magic's been around for a good while. Had a big influence on card games, but even some other games. Um, There's several out there. And and kind of tying that in with with skirmish games. Um, And uh, Bob, painter Bob, brought in four of my Warfro miniatures uh, yesterday. Um, I definitely want to get that on the table. <clears throat> That's kind of, I, I kind of feel almost a hybrid. It's it's skirmish, but it's unit based. So once again, um, kind of meet, meeting that sweet spot. And, and you, if you're looking at uh, Spearhead, it's kind of the way to um, kind of that in between uh, skirmish with units. Kill Team's getting uh, quite a bit of buzz out there. The new version of Kill Team. Also got Lord of the Rings. Watched a couple videos on that. Yesterday, uh, coming out in the near future, a new version. I don't think there's going to be huge changes. Those are, once again, rules that have been around forever. Um, Probably some updates, cleaning up some stuff, and some new, my understanding, some new, new... Stuff as in characters, new um, minis, new poses, stuff like that. So it is getting quite a bit of buzz, especially in um, uh, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth community. You're getting to see a lot of chatter, which is a good thing. Um, once again, a great game. Oh, uh, we, bah, 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 bah. man, like I said, I had a couple things, and yeah. You're gone. Um, as I tell people out here, don't get old. Um, but what else can we talk about? I said, oh, back kind of a little bit to the car wars and doing a lead. Um, it's interesting um, seeing what games are getting out on the table constantly. Uh, and, and how do you make that happen? Uh, I think... Other than tournaments, I mean, the tournaments always have their pros and cons, and and I, I think they are good to have. But um, leagues of some type of um, leagues, campaigns, whatever you want to call that, but a reason to play someone else on, especially if it's halfway structured. Um, I definitely. Uh, with that, I definitely want to get um, a sevens league going. Uh, once you keep, I think the simpler you can keep all this stuff, the more likely it's going to uh, go through. Um, most people are looking for a reason to play. I think the added part of a league entices that. I, I do like narrative stuff. 
but I think if you make it overly complicated and and all this stuff, it, it's can be tough. One thing to keep it balanced: if someone gets out way ahead. You know, they're usually going to dominate, and those in last place or you know towards the last. What's incentive for them to come out and play? Eh, not so much. So. I think that is one challenge when you run in a legal campaign. How do you you keep that incentive out and come and play? Um, you know, oh, and and kind of tying that in, um, and going back to the battle tech, battle tech guys have been going hard and strong, um, averaging over ten people every Tuesday night. Um, been discussing how do you add to that and, and how do you continue that how do you support that um, what we're looking is <clears throat> is doing a battle tech club I think we're gonna call it something like that probably hopefully find a cool name for it but and, and it's not gonna be mentor you still come out and play but look like look at charging, um, you know, five bucks a person. Um, that will go towards um, price support, kind of in the form of probably a weekly raffle, and maybe even one at the end of the month. But um, and uh, Josh brings food to help support him to can continue to do. To do that, a uh, substantial part of the funds raised will go for that to help him uh, in that endeavor. And that's, that is, once again, kind of a cool thing that the Battletech folks do. So we're looking at doing that. We're probably actually going to probably start it up to tomorrow night. Um, I'll come up with some stuff. you know, And we can kind of change that as we go, <clears throat> go along. But, yeah. Looking at you know five dollars, um, majority like I said, a good good chunk of that going to Josh to feed everybody, and then uh, rest of that going back into that. Right now we're talking about just uh, doing a raffle. So once again, um, hopefully a little more incentive to to come out and play. Keep keep the cost as low as we can. So, but yet all that money will go back in to support the group. So looking forward to doing that. Um, and, and we could do that with other, other, other games, other stuff. Um, if that works well. Um, see, talked about maybe Blood Bowl in the future. What else could we do? Uh, love to see War Crow grow into that. Once again, brand new game. It's going to be a good year before. I think that all gets flushed out, but continue to really like what I see with that and what Corvus Belly. And I, going back to games that's had a lot of impact, you know, Infinity is not one of those big names. Uh, I consider a top shelf game. Come on in, Aaron. I'm sitting here rambling. Um, but anyway, doing a bunch of printing. In fact, I've got stuff I'm printing for. Um, they come in and play 40K um, Monday afternoons and enjoy watching them play. So, But uh, what else? What else? Yeah, printing stuff. i got several projects. Printers are going full time. Um, ah. I think that's about it for now. Um, I hadn't eat. Uh, I need to eat my lunch. Got a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, so yesterday was busy up until we closed. So need to go do some cleaning, clean the bathrooms, all that fun stuff. But with that, uh, I think I'll let you guys go, and we will see you next time. Have a good week.